Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in the last tutorial, we were looking at uh, how to make superimposition of plots, okay, when to use it and what are the disadvantages and advantages of it and when to use it and when not to use it and all, okay. Now, now in this tutorial, we'll see some features to make the plot a little more fancy. Okay, now how do you, how can you make the plots fancy and informative and informative? It's simple. It's simple. You can add grids and grid 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 boxes to the plots. Add legends to it. You can add labels and everything. Labels and everything. Control the grid points. You can save figures, do animations, and you can make other kinds of plots as well. Okay. Uh, if you guys notice, last time we plotted we plotted uh, E S versus Z and E versus Z. The sa wave saturation vapor versus altitude and vapor pressure versus altitude. Okay. Now this is how the plot goes by. But if you know, but if you notice, if you give uh, if you give this plot to somebody else, they may understand. They might not know what's going on. Okay. So uh, it will be better if you add a title to it. What this x-axis means. We know it's altitude, but others, if somebody comes and reads it, they may not know. So if you just give a title, to, if you just give a label to x-axis, I mean this y-axis, x-axis with proper units. And then if you give some grid grid boxes here, people can compare as to okay whether this point is close to 500 or some 500 or 1000, they can make a little comparison. Yeah, legend over here will be nice. Legend over here would be nice, and a title for a figure would be good, good as well. Okay, okay. Now we'll see how these can be done. Okay. Now I just have. Now I just made the. I just I'm just redoing the plot again, but it's not a problem. Okay. Uh, now let's make this more sh fancy okay now what I do is that let me uh, create these two lines uh, uh, oh crap I think about yeah fine no. let me create these two commands uh, okay uh, fine now what I'm doing is that I'm creating an x, creating a variable called as xt, which is an umpire array, which whose values range from zero, who they, who, which has 11 values, 11 points, uh, e linearly spaced between zero and 5,000. Okay, and now this 11 points will have uh, the endpoints to be uh, the endpoints. Uh, this 11 points will include will, are inclusive of the endpoints zero and 5,000. So if you look at the values of xt and xt over here, um, look at the variable explorer here. Okay, the values are you have 11 values between 0 and 5000, inclusive of the in intervals, evenly, evenly and linearly spaced between them, and that's why the command is called as lin space, linear spacing of values. Okay, like that you have another variable called as yt, which has 11 points, linear space between 0 and uh, 10,000. 0 and 10,000 okay we will be using this for creating a, a grid for creating the points where the grids have to be made in your x and y axis we'll come to that in a minute we'll come to that in a minute okay and then these two are the lines where I'm plotting the values okay so uh, we already plotted that because the figure is ready we already plotted that so let it be as it is and then uh, let's add an x label x label now if you want to add an X label, the label to the X axis, okay, what you can do is that copy this and paste it here. Uh, PLT, X label is a function <coughs> in PyPlot which is used for plot, which, is which copies a particular string, which copies a particular string and pastes it on the X axis. So if I press enter, okay, now watch the plot, there is no X axis label over here. So if I press enter over here, Watch the plot. Check it out. Okay, now you have an X label. Similarly, if I want a label for Y axis, what I do is that I just instead of X label, I put it as Y. Okay, and now your Y axis is actually your altitude in meters. So let's rename it here. Altitude in meter. Okay, Pre press enter and check it out. Your alt, this value comes in nicely. Okay, that's about that's about axis. That's about labeling the axis. Now let's give a title. 
okay now to give the title it's very straightforward what you do is that add this line okay we need a function called as title from uh, from uh, from the uh, from pyplot so what you do is you copy this plt dot title and if add a string like this vertical profiles of vapor pressure that's what i'm going to give you can add any title as per your wish and press enter and check the figure out the title is ready okay now as of now it looks okay now what will be a little more interesting is that uh, if we want to add grid now next thing is we are let's add grid points here grid lines here grid lines here and make uh, the axis a little more rigid and everything okay little little more rigid and everything okay now next thing is if if you suppose if you want to add a super title a title on top of the title or something of that sort there's this common call as a uh, subtitle like s u p t i t a t a t l e okay so let me copy this and uh, i paste this up copy this and paste it over here s u s u p t a t l e a subtitle creates a uh, uh, passes this entire string it types this entire string as uh, as a as a title on top of your already existing title so if i press enter if i press enter this string subtitle is on the top so check it out you have this exercise one problem two as given in subtitle over here coming over here okay now that's about it now uh, now we still need a little more features to make the plot little more uh, readable and informative what we need is that the grids and la axis labels and all okay let's go about with that we have the title ready and we need text okay Okay, now let me copy this and paste it over here. And let me not press enter here. I just want to show you something. Now, if you if you look at the x-axis and y-axis over here, okay, uh, you have the markings of values at 500, 1000, 1500, 200, and all. And the end point is only five, 4500. Only 4500 in the axis. in x axis similarly on y axis you have the uh, you have the divisions and uh, marking marking of values between 0 2000 in steps of 2000 okay now what if i want the what if i want these markings to be little more closer okay for that and for the purpose of having grids and all okay uh, we need this command called as xtix and ytix x xtix make sure uh, is useful for making multiple divisions on x axis from where you can make vertical vertical lines or horizontal vertical lines or horizontal lines and similarly y text is used for making is used for making uh, multiple divisions in your y axis okay now check this out this is how the figure looks like as of now now if i press enter it plots y text and x text and everything y text and x things x text and everything and if you look at the figure right now there you have it now uh, you see the axis was only up to 4500 now it has extended to 5000 because of your x tech and if you look at your y axis now it has more partitions more divisions in y axis okay and this is the reason why we need we use the value xt and yt on the top Re uh, remember this part uh, where is that yeah remember this part that's why we need we have created these two values and we using them over here and it gives us a kind of a manual control over the plot okay now this is fine let me go to the other part uh let's have a let's have axis let's create the let's make the axis a little stronger okay now for that you need this command called as plt dot axis uh let me use this over here okay now what this does is that it needs a list like it it needs a four valued list okay now plot axis command make sure that the plot is rigid and it also sets the range to be static okay now the first value will be the starting point of x axis the second value will be the ascending point of x axis here the third value will be the starting point of y axis and the fourth value will be the starting point of uh, z axis i mean sorry x y axis okay ending uh, sorry ending point of y, y axis Okay, if I press enter, if I press enter, if you look at the now the 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 graph would be much rigid here. 
uh, as of now you may not notice a difference but it will be rigid when you go for plotting and then what we need is that we need the legends on so let's let's copy this command plt dot legend uh, if we plot copy this and press enter copy this and press enter check it out now the figure has a le proper legend over here and you know, that makes it informative now a little more adjustments a little uh, just one more thing now let's have the grid boxes here so that it makes it easy and to make the grids on there's this command called as plt grids and let me copy that and uh, paste okay have a look at the figure of figure now now if i were to copy this and press enter okay check it out now you see the the entire plot is has a lot of grid lines over here grid lines over here okay now the plot is now the plot is very very informative you have the axis on you have the axis labeled you have a lot of ticks in the axis x and y axis your axis are rigid you have grid lines you have titles you have legend the, the plots are nicely colored and differentiated and everything now the only thing left is okay now the plot is good okay now let what if i want to save it it's simple you have an option in, in the figure in the figure console you have the option to say you have a save figure option over here which you can click it but if you want to do down if you click this okay you can save it you can give a name give us title and then set what kind of a day you know which kind of a format you want and everything and save it that's pretty easy that's pretty easy and uh, it's very straightforward and easy okay and now there's this one more feature there's this one more feature that you can do but you can do like this otherwise there's an inbuilt command in python called as plot.savefig let me copy this and i'll explain you guys what's going on okay now this has several uh, variables inside it and optional parameters and all let me explain save fig is used for plotting uh, is for saving the figure that you have currently currently on the window okay think, did i close this i guess i guess so i guess so yeah i closed it uh, anyway uh, the save fig is actually used for uh, saving the figure and this is actually the figure name with the extension and then you have to set the figure formatting to be p formatting to be as your choice you can set it to png pdf jpeg eps ps and several other uh, several uh, features available okay and then you set the dpi to be a particular number now for simple 1d plots like this i uh, um, a dpi of 200 a uh, meaning a number of di number of digital uh, uh number of dots per inch i guess dots per inch if you keep it to be 200 then your plot will be good and you can lower it down or higher it down higher increase you can increase the value or decrease decrease the value of dpi and as per that your quality differs from qu your quality changes more more is the value of dpi the more uh, memory the plot will occupy but at the same time the more will be the quality of the plot the lesser the value the less quality and less pretty it looks like so what happened is that when i copied all this i guess the plot closed up when i close the plot i guess everything closed up so what i do is that copy this entire thing and run this again copy this paste it over here okay okay there you go when you do that your plot is ready and if you guys want to look at how the plot is plot looks like okay let me show you where i kept that e versus png right so this is how the plot looks like not bad huh it's 128.6 kb and it's on 56 percent zooming and if you want to zoom it to 100 percent okay this is how the plot looks like in 100 percent look at the colors the color range and everything it's so nice it's pretty it's neat and the values are good enough you can values are good so it looks good and by default this uh, by default the size of this plot is 1600 cross 1200 pixels pixels which is reasonably good which is very good it's kind of a big plot per se the bigger the plot is better because when you compress them the data the when you compress them they still maintain the integrity 
the plot integrity is maintained see the difference even if you compress them they look good on the other hand if you have a very small plot and if you, you may have to zoom it up when you zoom it up they become little blurry and all that's the thing okay that's about uh, making a plot fancy okay uh, now if you look at this now the plot looks great and if you just check your do this in your command uh, your plots will be good okay next tutorial we look at uh, how to make other plots like bar plots scatter plots and histograms and all so thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys next tutorial so take care